Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to walk you through Fleetio, a cloud-based fleet management platform that helps businesses track, maintain, and optimize their vehicle operations. Now this tutorial will cover everything that you need to know to get started and make the most out of it. So let's dive in and start with the basics. What exactly is Fleetio? Well, Fleetio is an all-in-one tool that helps businesses manage their vehicles more easily. It's a cloud-based platform, so you can use it anywhere as long as you have an internet connection. Plus, it lets fleet managers keep an eye on how vehicles are being used, plan maintenance, and check how well the fleet is running in real time. The platform has a lot of great features designed for managing fleets. Users can easily handle maintenance tasks, track fuel usage, manage drivers, and get automated reminders for scheduled services. Additionally, Fleetio provides strong reporting and analytics tools to help companies really understand costs and performance trends. It works well for industries like transportation, delivery, construction, and field services, so it's a flexible option for any business that uses a fleet. Now that you know what Fleetio is, let me walk you through the sign-up process. First, head over to Fleetio.com. On the home page, look for the Start Free Trial button in the top right corner and click on it. This will take you to the sign-up page. You can use your email, Google account, or SAML to sign up. Choose whichever works best for you. In this tutorial, we'll go with Google. Next, personalize your account by following the on-screen prompts. It's quick and it's simple. Once that's done, you'll be taken to your your account dashboard. The dashboard, well, that's the main place where you manage your fleet. On the left side, there's a menu with all the key sections. Let's go through them so that everything is simple and clear. First off, the dashboard tab gives you a real-time look at your fleet. You'll see things like repair priorities, service reminders, and more. Next up, the vehicles tab organizes everything related to your vehicles. It includes the vehicle list, assignments, meter, history, and more. Then the tools tab helps you keep track of all of your equipment in one place. To keep everything in good shape, the inspections tab lets you create checklists and add photos to check the condition of your vehicles. After that, the issues tab is where you can log and track repairs. This helps you fix small problems before they turn into bigger problems. Next, the Reminders tab helps you stay on top of things like service schedules and vehicle renewals. And the Service tab keeps all of your repair histories, your work orders, and service tasks organized so that maintenance is easy to manage. For managing resources and relationships, the Contacts and Vendors tabs will help you keep all of the details about drivers, mechanics, and partners all in one convenient place. This makes communication simple and hassle-free. The Fuel and Energy tab is great for tracking fuel usage, charging records, and costs. The Parts tab is there to help you manage spare inventory so that you always have what you need on hand. The Places tab is handy for marking important locations like garages and fuel stations. The Documents tab keeps things like registrations, insurance, and compliance records organized and easy to find. Plus, the Integrations tab makes it easy to connect Fleetio with other tools that you already use like QuickBooks and Salesforce. The Reports tab will give you insights into fleet performance and costs, and the Settings lets you adjust everything to match your preferences. Now let's discuss how you can add a vehicle. To add a vehicle, head over to the Vehicles tab on the left menu. Then pick Vehicle List from the options. On this page, you will see all of your vehicle records. Since we're adding a new one, click the Add Vehicle button at the top right corner. Next, you will land on the Vehicle Creation form. Here, you'll just need to fill in the required details to add your new vehicle. Don't worry, it's simple and I will guide you through the steps. First off, we have the Details section here you'll need to enter the vehicle identification number or the VIN number in the provided field. The VIN is like the vehicle's fingerprint. It's a very unique number that can also give extra details about the vehicle if needed. Below that, you'll see the identification section. This is where you can add a vehicle name. Then there's the type field, which is used to group the vehicle into a category like car, bus, or something else. Next, the status field will show if the vehicle is active or inactive within your fleet. This helps track whether the vehicle is in use or not. You'll also find a section for ownership, which lets you specify if the vehicle is owned, leased, or managed in a different way. Finally, there's an option to add labels. In the maintenance section, you can pick a service program to handle service reminders automatically. But if you don't select one, maintenance reminders won't be created. However, there's still an option to use an existing service program for vehicles with similar maintenance needs. The life cycle section includes both 
in-service and out-of-service details. The in-service part keeps track of when the vehicle joined the active fleet and the odometer reading at that time. It also includes the estimated service life in months and miles to give an idea of how long the vehicle will be in use before retirement. Plus, there's a spot to add the estimated resale value, showing how much the vehicle might bring in when it's sold or disposed of. Additionally, if the vehicle is retired, the out-of-service section records the date and odometer reading at the time it's taken out of use. Once you have filled in all of the required sections, move to the financial section. The financial section includes all of the details about the vehicle purchase. It covers things like who you bought the vehicle from, when you bought it, and how much you paid for it. You can also add the odometer reading at the time of purchase to set the starting mileage for the vehicle's history. There's even a notes section where you can add any extra details about the purchase. Below that, the loan or lease section helps you specify how the vehicle was bought, and then you can choose if it was financed, leased, or fully owned. If there's a loan or lease, just select that option. If it wasn't financed, pick none. Once everything is filled out, move on to the specification section. The specifications section has all of the important details about the vehicle, size, the performance, and the technical features. It includes measurements like width, height, and length, and of course, cargo space. Weight details such as curb weight and gross vehicle weight rating are also included here. Next, performance metrics like towing capacity and maximum payload show what the vehicle can handle, and the engine details cover key information like brand, displacement, horsepower, torque, and fuel induction type. When it comes to transmission, though, you'll find details about the type, brand, and the number of gears. Finally, wheels and tires specifications explain the drive type, brake system, wheel size, and tire pressure. Fuel and oil capacity fields are also included to keep track of fuel efficiency, and maintenance needs. This section makes it simple to keep a complete technical record of the vehicle for everyday use and servicing. The settings section lets you choose how to measure vehicle usage. You can pick miles, kilometers, or hours depending on how your fleet is managed. There is a field to enter the latest meter reading so that you can start tracking with accurate data. You can also add the average daily usage manually or you can let the system calculate it automatically based on past data. A secondary meter can be added if you need to track something extra like another mileage count, hours, or any other unit relevant to your vehicles. There are also options to choose fuel units like gallons or liters. You can even select measurement units for things like length, weight and volume to fit your needs. Once all of these settings are set up, click the Save Vehicle button and now the vehicle will show up on the Vehicle List page. Finally, let me show you how to add an inspection form in Fleetio. First, click on the Inspections tab. From there, select the Forms option. That will take you to the Forms page where you can see all of the existing inspection forms. To add a new one, simply click on the Plus Add Inspection Form button at the top right corner. First off, add a title in the Title field. Now make sure it's clear and descriptive so that users can easily understand what the inspection form is for. Right below the title, there is a Description box. Now, this is optional, but it really is a good spot to add extra details or instructions about the inspection process. Next, there's an option to copy from a template. Users can pick a preloaded vehicle checklist as a starting point. If you don't choose a template, the form will be blank, giving you full control to customize it the way you need. After that, there's a color selection feature. This lets users assign a color to the form, making it easier to identify and organize within the inspection system. The form has two checkbox options for extra settings. The first one, Enable Location Exception Tracking, records location data when an inspection is done. The second option, Prevent Use of Stored Photos, stops users from uploading images from their device. Instead, they'll need to take photos using the camera during the inspection. This makes sure that all photos are real and taken on the spot. Once everything is filled out, click that Save Inspection Form button to save it. The new form will appear in the list of forms ready to be used at your next inspection. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more step-by-step -step tutorials. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.